I'm recording. Shit, we're recording. <laughs> Time for me to clam up. <laughs> what you have to say. Stand up, defend yourself, and let them know it's never okay. Yeah, stand up and defend yourself. It's never okay. You see, uh, Norika sent a tweet out last week or this week at some point saying that he was surprised that we were still using his song. <laughs> Why? Oh, not not as surprised as we are. <laughs> some days I wake up surprised to be alive. So I don't fucking know. I uh, I don't know. I I, I like this song, but I think I like it just because it it was. I want to say it was inspired by us. The title is inspired by us, but the title is inspired by us. Well, I mean, he said he was going to write us a song. And he did. You got to turn it off. Why? Because every time I talk, it cuts out and it's fucking annoying. It, I don't. It, I don't notice it though, so it's fine. Oh, okay. We're recording the show just for you, not for anybody else. That's what it seems like. Yeah, I know. All right. So, yeah. You, you're you're all about playing our Norika song every day, but you forget that we have a Skinny Wizard theme song that I like equally. I don't want to say better. I like equally. I mm-hmm. that other guy. I think his name is Doug. Or that's something. why you like it. That's, every, that's the only reason. <laughs> everybody always shits on on you, and and he decides to shit on me. And now that's your favorite fucking thing, right? That other guy, Doug, or something. All right. I want to start by saying thank you to all the new patrons that signed up. That was a nice surprise over the last, what, seven days, 10 days, I guess. Yeah. Um, it was, uh, it was good. We have some shit to send you. Uh, not literally. Well, I mean, maybe, I guess. <laughs> if that's Depends what you how want. big of a fan you are. <laughs> <laughs> I guess we could make that a tier. I don't know. <laughs> so does it get to be the bottom tier? <laughs> How, what what tier should it be that you send them your used pocket pussy? <laughs> Four bucks. <laughs> Four bucks. <laughs> no, I need that thing. <laughs> I, need, I need enough money to buy another one at least. <laughs> no, I, I I sent this to you and I shouldn't have. I should have just read it to you. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Oh, I'm not prepared for this. So all uh, right, <laughs> you you brought it up, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So this was a note from somebody that listens to the show. Um, where the fuck is he from? Sweden, Norway. Nor was it Norway? It was, uh, it was one of those places. Anyway, <laughs> um, so yeah, Norway. Here it is. All right, ha 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 ha. Comma. I heard the episode. Now I can't join an interview though. I'm in Norway, and this is like a secret account that none of my friends or girlfriend knows about. I am fascinated by scat and a. I don't think he means like the boop, 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 boop. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. <laughs> Fascinates me too. I am fascinated by scat and a lot of unusual porn. Just the thought of people doing something very extreme in a sexual setting turns me on. And an ass fascination. Everything about a woman's ass, shit, and all is hot. <laughs> Roxy Ray, to be so hot, now a cripple, to do the things she do. <laughs> what? I don't know why you put that in there, but one, I mean, she was in a pretty bad car wreck and I think she's recuperating, but I think cripple is a slur, isn't it? <laughs> the, the way he said it, it is. But I, I think that, I think that like ups his, like she's got more, more jack off ability now. <laughs> Sweet. She's a cripple. <laughs> she has to shit in a bag. <laughs> Maybe I could use that bag. <laughs> Roxy Ray to be so hot, now a cripple to do the things she do. And such a cool person too. Too bad about the crash. Anthony here okay, it's too bad about oh boy. <laughs> too bad about the crash. Anthony likes a lot of porn as well. He secretly <laughs> understands me, perhaps. <laughs> keep secretly. Up, <laughs> keep up the way you do. I laugh a lot from listening. Say hello to Bernie. Best regards, poop boy. <laughs> we have some Awesome fucking listeners. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. Yeah, I'm not gonna tell anybody. It's it's a secret. I understand you, buddy. What I'm don't, don't let anybody know. I honestly just thought that was you. 
Oh, shit. She's so, she's so sexy, and now she's a cripple, so that's good. <laughs> so that's good. <laughs> oh, I told you. I told you <laughs> in the beginning. I'm not. Oh, poop is fucking disgusting. <laughs> that's so gross. Sorry, man. I get it. I, I, I get that you like it or whatever, but it's not for me. I don't it's think he my, was it's suggesting that it's for you. I think he was suggesting that due to your fascination or infatuation with masturbation and procrastination. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that, <laughs> and, and your love of all things, uh, I guess, strange just, women. Just, uh, <laughs> that's, oh, it's a it's a common misconception, but it's not true. Most of your porn features women crying on the cover with <laughs> eyeliner running down their face or mascara. <laughs> in your mind, yes. <laughs> I've seen, I I I know what you're into. No, you don't. You don't. We've been through this like fifty fucking times. <laughs> okay. Let's talk about racism. We never talked about that. <laughs> we're we're leading into that. <laughs> so most of your porn that that like what you generally finish to is 15 black dudes and one brittle, broken down, white runaway. Yeah, what's wrong with that? <laughs> See? Is there against black people? <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> what, who's that one guy that you uh, you talked about? He's the one that, he's a real piece of shit in the porn thing. Beat Max people. Hardcore. Yeah. Yeah. Not Not for me. Not even interested at all. Because he's white. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> and because there's only one of them. <laughs> all right. Anyway, yeah. So thank you to all the new patrons. Uh, we've got a pretty pretty good episode lined up for you this time. We're starting to take it. I don't want to say take it seriously because that makes it sound like we haven't been in the past. But if you've listened to the episode, you know that to be the case. <laughs> Have we ever taken anything seriously? Yes, we're for, taking this seriously. For Beastie Boys episode. We, we've got a, an outline. We've, we've done four practice runs of the show already. <laughs> I've been out here for 12 hours. <laughs> the last, the, the thing that you actually hear is about 14 hours of preparation. And it still sounds like that. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to ask so like this uh poop boy that would have been a great thing to come in on the voicemail so do that <laughs> send us voicemails <laughs> just send send him that message back and ask him to read his own message on our voicemail i'm not sending anything to anybody ever <laughs> so why poop, not poop boy call 508-974-4489 and just read us your message We'll we'll react to it like it's the first time we've heard it. <laughs> um, I think we have an email that you can send us shit to. I think it's Doug dot Who's Right Podcast at Gmail dot com or something. Something. Yeah, I don't know. I, I have one too, but I. Oh yeah, mine's Anthony dot Who's Right Podcast email at Gmail at AOL. What what is it? <laughs> what was it again? It was yours. It was yours, except for a different name. <laughs> <laughs> Bernie at Ronald McDonald House. <laughs> right. All right. Look, I think I, I, I did a good job of going through them and actually sounded serious. Yeah, good job. You just ruined it right now. <laughs> well, no, I didn't. <laughs> you just, you just, if you have to uh, uh, like explain that you went through it seriously and you did a good job, <laughs> you fucked it up. <laughs> All right, we'll start over. Take two. <clears throat> you know what? I So I... We have this thing on our, our board that we use, and there's a category, which is what I was just looking at. It's called Don't Forget, and it's things that we wanted to talk about every episode. <laughs> we should just go through them. All right. Because <laughs> most of them are, are irrelevant. They've been on there so long that they don't even mean anything to anybody anymore. Right. <laughs> so the first one is our website, who's right com. That one's still uh, available. <laughs> <laughs> for purchase it's still there i mean yeah if you want to buy it <laughs> how much how much would you charge to give up uh if somebody wanted to buy us out if 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 that was a thing <laughs> um 40 bucks uh, you know what i wouldn't do it for under 50 a piece or yes yeah i need 50 oh unless you're willing to give me your half then i'll take 25 because i'll just take doug's half too wait 50 70 50 <laughs> 
I want fifty dollars. <laughs> so fifty bucks, and you'd walk away from this podcast. No, the I thought you meant just the website. No, we're walking away from everything. It's like we we built this up, and now we're gonna sell it so somebody else can. As long as I can keep the website, sixteen bucks, fifty no, bucks. No, we lose everything. Sixty six dollars. <laughs> Oh, fuck. <laughs> I don't. Do, can we just start another one? No, we've got to be. We, right we, we, we've got to be done. Oh. We, we walk away. It's. We uh, sign a contract that says we can never podcast again. Yes. <laughs> oh Jesus, that sucks. Um, you know this isn't real, so you don't have to get emotional about it. I, um, it is real. It's still real to me. Damn it! <laughs> I'd say twenty five hundred bucks. Are you fucking kidding me? Yeah. Why? Uh, so I mean, some, just for me. So five thousand, because if, if you want half, I don't. I don't need twenty five hundred dollars to quit this piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> I do. I I might go in for some Pizza Hut coupons or something. <laughs> pizza Hut coupons. All right. What's the next thing we got? We have merch dot com. Uh, <laughs> that's no longer any good. Uh, oh PayPal God. us money. We have a PayPal link if you just want to make a donation without signing up for a monthly contribution but i don't remember what that is so you're not <laughs> <laughs> oh you should have added that to the don't forget part <laughs> i i think that that patreon link is still or i mean that paypal link is still on the website under support us but you skipped over uh hush your face oh yeah you can you can find us on the hush your face network um if it still exists it does we went through that two weeks ago <laughs> the website still exists oh sweet does that is that rap still around? We should do an episode on that. We just did. On the Hush Your Face rap? Yes. Oh, we should do one again. It was like three weeks ago. So what? People like it when you do the same thing every week. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> uh, Patreon promo from last week. <laughs> Dude. That's the note. <laughs> <laughs> this is amazing. <laughs> you know what? Maybe we could probably just get rid of them. <laughs> the, the whole the whole thing well no just uh like the what the, what's this note mean <laughs> patreon promo from last week <laughs> what, what the fuck does it mean i i added it august 11th so the next one the next one down is leave here crossing over movie what i have what the fuck does that mean <laughs> <laughs> leave here crossing over movie as if somebody that's just me and you, <laughs> leave, you know, leave this here. <laughs> Who's going to fucking delete it? <laughs> Is that for the, the people at fucking Trello that yeah. go through our shit? <laughs> that, that, that was also eight months ago that I added the note, leave here crossing over movie. And then you texted me, well, last week, two weeks ago. And you said, do you want to review a movie? And I said, sure. Send me the link. Did you watch that movie? No. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> <laughs> but we're gonna. Oh yeah, for sure. Did you did you even watch the trailer? No. I I at least watched the trailer. Do you want to review that? Uh-uh. <laughs> All right. Oh, uh, you mean the, just the trailer? Yeah. Sure, why not? We can review the trailer. No, you you do it. I don't I don't oh, even want to no. watch the trailer. All right, here it goes. It doesn't look like a movie I want to watch. <laughs> so stay tuned for more. Right. Uh, and then the last note on here is Brand X Podcast. Check it out. It's unbelievably stupid. Twice. <laughs> there. Got rid of that there. Now we can get on with the fucking show. <laughs> Don't what forget. Are they, what are they say? Just a little bit of housekeeping we got to take care of. <laughs> you know, we can take care of the housekeeping off the air. <laughs> That's what I want to say every time somebody says that. Now it's time to pay the bills. <laughs> I tuned into this podcast to listen to you clean your house. That's, that's always good. <laughs> now you're going to sit here and listen to me write checks. <laughs> All right. So I had a, I don't, I don't have any really, really good stories or anything from those last couple of days, but I, I was doing some traveling. Um, and I don't know what happened, but I, as, as I told before, I found out. So let's see. Not last trip, but the mm -hmm. trip before is when I sat down and realized I needed the seatbelt extender, <laughs> right? Yep. And then I had another trip after that, uh, two trips after that. And then I had this trip now, and Jeez. this trip now flying, no seatbelt extender needed. 
Really? And did you lose weight? I not by looking at me. I I don't. <laughs> Do you I, own a scale? I mean, like, so I, I I walk into the plane and I'm like, and I don't. I'm not even embarrassed by it, which is more embarrassing than anything. Seatbelt extender for this guy. <laughs> But I, I I asked her when I walked on, you know, can I, hey, can I get a, a seatbelt extender? And she's like, I don't think you need it. I said, I appreciate the vote of confidence, but <laughs> let's go ahead and do this thing. <laughs> so I sat down and, and tried it without it, and fuck, I still had slack. I, I, don't, know, I don't know what the fuck happened. Did you give her back the seatbelt extender? I would have put it in my bag, kept it. Yeah, you can, you can check that out on eBay right now if you want to. <laughs> Doug seatbelt extender. <laughs> we should do an auction. There's, there's, we have enough people that listen to this piece of shit that somebody's got to be interested in buying some garbage from us just to have it. All right. So maybe uh, we can get some feedback from them on what they want us to auction off. Hey, poop man, what, what of mine would you buy? I want to know. Poop. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> I'd sell it if I could. Shit, in, like in an old sour cream container, wrap it up in masking tape, and send it to Norway. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Dude, poop man in Norway. I wouldn't even put it in a box. I'd write the address on it. Yeah, just like <laughs> that with four stamps. <laughs> Stick the stamps to it. <laughs> I wonder if that's illegal. Why? He wants it. I don't know, Ebola or something? <laughs> I don't think you're allowed to ship human feces, are you? You show me in the rules where I <laughs> the rules. <laughs> you're gonna look you're gonna look it up? I have to. <laughs> Is it illegal to ship shit? Can you mail poop? <laughs> it is illegal to mail poop. Poop typically doesn't arrive via delivery or in your mailbox, but when it does, it can be breaking news. For example, an Iowa woman is facing criminal charges for allegedly mailing cow feces to her neighbors in response to their complaints about her dog bark. See, that's when the people don't want the poop. But if somebody <laughs> so if specifically <laughs> asked for my poop. It, it, it said, the beginning of the article said it's illegal. It doesn't say whether or not it's illegal if they want it or not. No. They're not taking into account poop man. <laughs> Does anybody ever? <laughs> I don't know. that. <laughs> okay. What I'm curious about with poop man is the comment that he made that it's poop well, boy, whatever that he said, you know, this is an account that my family and girlfriend don't know about. Yeah. Okay. So that means that he is keeping his, scat fetish <laughs> his scat fetish to himself out right. of fear of rejection Social. or embarrassment right is that any way to live i mean what wouldn't you I, I, I hate to this isn't a pun but i mean it's a pun but not intended okay now it's intended since i acknowledged it before i said it <laughs> jesus christ just fucking say it i forgot what it was <laughs> <laughs> Ah, but you know that's no way to live. You know, like I, oh, that. I got it. I'd own that shit. <laughs> <laughs> that's not even a good pun. I didn't say it was good. It was just there. But anyway, so, would, wouldn't you? I mean, if 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 something gets you off, then why not fucking embrace it? If somebody don't like you for it, fuck them. Why hide it? Be because if <clears throat> if you get to be known as the guy who likes shit, it's pretty. I mean. We, I don't know how the culture is in Norway or whatever, but even in our culture, they're Vikings. It. It, they're, they're Vikings. <laughs> I don't think that's true. Yes, it is. <laughs> all Nor, all, all people from Norway are Vikings right now. Yes, that. Where do you? Vikings and vampires. They all come from Norway. Everybody knows that shit. What in the fuck are you talking about, vampires? <laughs> that's fucking Pennsylvania. <laughs> no, that's Transylvania. <laughs> is that in Norway? Yes. Oh, my bad. I have no I no fucking clue. I don't even know where. I thought Norway was next to New Jersey. It's off the turnpike. <laughs> what what uh, am I supposed to look up? What is in Norway? What? <laughs> what is in Norway? If it comes up with poop, I'm going <laughs> to... Oh, Jesus. Oslo? Uh, am I supposed to know what that is? 
she, yeah, it's, is that some must, kind of sandwich? They must do a lot of running there because it says it's a Nordic country. <laughs> <laughs> Don't they have a track for that? <laughs> so, I, if you had a girlfriend that you that you liked and a family that you liked, and one day you're like, hmm, I really like shit. <laughs> nah, see, it wouldn't be one day. It's something that you know when you're changing your first kid's diaper. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Oh, hun- hey, honey, something just sparked in me. <laughs> we-, we should probably have a discussion. <laughs> yep. <laughs> You're going to have to change the diapers from now on. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm going to fuck it. <laughs> oh, shit. Yep. Oh, okay. <laughs> but for real, you're probably, that, pro- that that shit probably hits around the time you're, 12 13 14 right just like every other fetish right i'm guessing yeah for the sake of this conversation sure so when that happens you're fucking 12 13 and you're like hey i like shit what girl do you think is ever gonna have any kind of serious conversation with you never it's not gonna happen so you push that shit so far down there's no good shitters at 12 or 13 though so you don't even worry about it then (laughs) is that right yeah so I've heard. Good, good. <laughs> we'll, we'll back it up. What, what, what's a good shitter? Uh, somebody eats a lot of salad. <laughs> what? 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 Not very much corn. Not very many peanuts. You don't. <laughs> Gross. You, you don't want that grit. <laughs> or at least they have to be. How a, do you know? Or at least you have to be. They have to be a good chewer. <laughs> <laughs> How do you know they don't want the grit? All right, poop boy, you gotta tell us if you want the grit or not. I, I'm if I was into shit, I'm saying I'd go for the corn and peanuts every time. What I, you know? This just dawned on me. What I what I really like is that he won't come on the show, even as a voicemail or talking. He already said that. Yeah. Because he doesn't want his friends and family to find out about his fetish. Yeah. I guarantee you, they will never hear it. <laughs> Huh. yeah <laughs> From, I, i'm so how did we even make it to norway <laughs> how does that even work how the fuck does the internet work <laughs> I, it's i i i appreciate it but i feel he might be giving us just a tad bit too much credit <laughs> <laughs> nope <laughs> not enough so okay this is off the topic a little bit, but what's the, when's the last time you looked for a podcast from Norway to listen to? Like from, I, I, I don't understand how we get listeners from a country that. I don't even I, look for podcasts where I live. <laughs> I, I don't. You just I, look I, for good podcasts, right? Or I mean, how do you, I guess. How do you, well, I just want to know how somebody Probably in the world Twitter. finds us. Well, I know how he found us was through uh, uh, Roxy Ray. Yeah, you're right. Hmm. I mean, so it was really her reach. Hmm. There's got to be a poop joke in there somewhere. Yeah. You, you, it, it, hmm. <laughs> See, I couldn't come oh. up with one either. I'll, I'll work through this here in my All head. Right. Give me a second. <laughs> All right. So you take enough of her fans and throw them against the wall. Some of them are going to stick. <laughs> All right. So I, the best part of that, I think is that he called Roxy Ray a cripple. I think that's, I think that's great. <laughs> I, I don't care. If you want to check out chick shit and cool. Good for you. But I think it's funny that he called Roxy Ray a cripple. <laughs> uh, speaking of her, I think that check her out on Twitter. I think she's still got a, uh, a GoFundMe set up to help her after the accident. Does she have to rebuild her rectum? It nearly killed him. Wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> no, it didn't work. Yep, no, it didn't work. No, I, I, I'm sure when they pulled her from the wreckage, they're like, Jesus Christ, it tore her ass inside out. She's like, nope, that's, that's, it was like that. That's just normal. <laughs> <laughs> We've never seen a rectum like this. Apparently, there was a small man up inside her at the time. Is that a it, Fruit Loop? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that's horrible. Oh yeah. 
hopefully she uh, makes a full recovery and uh, Poop Boy gets to see more of her, I guess. Everything will be right with the world. Right. All right. Um, what do we got here? All right. So, yeah. So, thank you to the patrons. Um, <laughs> we'll have our, our new Patreon show immediately following this one. And then we are also part of the NSFL Productions, which is another – it's like a – what is it? A Patreon network? Is that what – it's not a network. That's it's a, a group of podcasters who are charging – for you to listen to more of their bullshit. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's uh, like a paid only type of thing. There's no free, no free content, no free lunch. So it's uh man brain, blunt mommy shit happens when you party naked and us so far, so far. Are they, are they adding more or are they leaving it at that? <clears throat> cause when I, when I agreed to take this on, cause I'm, I'm serious about this. It was going to be split four ways. Now, if they're going to split it more, I'm going to have a problem with that because I, I'm, I'm all about the cash, you know. So I, I think that it has to be a, uh, what's that word? Majority vote on if somebody comes in. So just oh. always vote no. Oh, all right, cool. Wait, how many people are there? Does my vote count? Sure. Just let me know what it is, and I'll relay it. <laughs> So our other, uh, you said we had two new or more, I guess, new um, patrons. We had, we had another one. I wanted to, you said it was, what, did you have her name? I'm not prepared, fucker. Sorry. Sorry. That wasn't I, on the I, board. We, we, skipped, we skipped over it and I wanted, to, I wanted to tell her to leave a voicemail too. Spe- specifically. Specifically. All right. Hold on. All right. Entertain the people for a second. All right. Can I just scat? Scat, bap, 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 bap. Kendall. Kendall. <clears throat> Sounds hot. Hmm. That, that's it? That's, <laughs> that's it. That's, that's all I got. Send us, send us a voicemail, Kendall. <laughs> Let us know uh, why the fuck you're listening to our show. No. <laughs> no? Let us know what you would like us to talk about. Oh, yeah, that too. <laughs> you can leave it all in one. You don't have to call multiple, multiple times. <laughs> <laughs> all right oh um, fuck what do we got that's it right now we can fucking go yep see ya no i meant like start the show <laughs> yep <laughs> see ya <laughs> <clears throat> all right let's do this choking at store thing all right man 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 chokes cashier for putting chips and canned goods in. Holy shit, that popped up. I that, thought it was me. I was just going to say, it looks like you, dude. <laughs> it looks like you with my beard. What the fuck? <laughs> that is creepy as fuck. Yeah. That, I got a fucking doppelganger. It's seriously, dude, it seriously looks like you with my beard. <laughs> what in the fucking hell? What are you doing choking people for? <laughs> huh. I like this guy. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. All right. A uh, Pennsylvania man Doug. lost his cool. What? Oh, I said a Pennsylvania Doug. <laughs> a Pennsylvania man lost his cool over how a store clerk was bagging his groceries, choking the cashier for putting potato chips and canned goods in the same bag. According to Fairview Township Police, Bradley Bauer was shopping with his wife at a giant food store on. Is that the name or was it just a really big store? <laughs> it's just a really big store. <laughs> on February 2nd, when he alleged allegedly attacked the cashier for the way the clerk was handling his grocery. He he looks like somebody that would choke somebody for packing their chips wrong. Or like shit. <laughs> <laughs> this is poop boy. <laughs> <laughs> Small world. Yeah. Um, police noted in a criminal complaint that Bauer explained to officers he had asked the clerk not to throw his groceries around. The man said he had several bags of chips and didn't want them to get all smashed up. Bauer told police the cashier then proceeded to place the chips in the same bag as the canned goods the man had purchased, and the clerk was smashing the chips. The man said he asked the cashier to stop bagging his eye. The victim told- the- Sorry, go ahead. The victim told police Bauer had paid for his groceries, and while he was walking away, he turned and asked him, do you have a problem with me? Because I have a problem with you. <laughs> what a douchebag. <laughs> The victim told officers he thought Bauer was kidding and replied to the man, do you? 
<laughs> That's when the police said Bauer attacked the cashier, grabbing him around the neck and shoving the clerk against the cash register while calling the victim an idiot. The clerk was able to push Bauer away while a manager called police. Okay. I think, one, I want to find out who added this story. Was it you? It, it was me. God damn it. <laughs> I was going to attack you for putting this stupid fucking story up here. You still can. I don't care. <laughs> I also am getting lost in this guy's eyes. It's like looking <laughs> in a fucking mirror. I'm saving this picture. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm tweeting. I'm tweeting the whole thing out afterward. <clears throat> oh my god! All right. At so this is where you and I tend to get into disagreements, right? I can understand how this guy got to where he was. Of course, if, you can. If, see, because you're, you're a fucking animal. <laughs> <laughs> you go to a store and you pay for something, right? And, and as soon as that transaction happens, as soon as that what is it tendered amount of currency is don't try tendered. to sound all smart <laughs> as soon as the tendered amount of currency is tendered is transacted <laughs> right <laughs> those now become your belongings that is your uh, property uh-huh and if this young fucking zit face twerp twat cocksucker clerk uh, wants to start manhandling and and taking out his aggressions on your food uh-huh um I believe that you have the right to physically assault him. It's no different than if he was to come into my, my dining room and start <laughs> smashing my chips. fruit bowl. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Two things. You've never brought fruit in your life. I know, I know that <laughs> second. When's the last time you went to the grocery store and paid for your stuff and then they bagged it. <laughs> it doesn't happen that way. They bag your shit as they're scanning it and then you pay for it when they're done. So the shit was still owned by the grocery store. <clears throat> hmm. Touche. <laughs> did that did i just change your mind <laughs> no here's why you're wrong all right oh shit <laughs> i'm trying to think all right but have you ever been to a really really big grocery store because they do things different there <laughs> a giant grocery store <laughs> no i have not <clears throat> you pay and then they scan all your shit <laughs> You give, them a, you give them a hundred dollar deposit. And they start <laughs> How much you think this is going to cost? I don't know. One fifty. <laughs> I should cover it. Yeah. Okay. So you, in, in this case, you're right. It wasn't his food. So therefore he had no right to physically assault the young zit face twat cocksucker. See, I, I won that argument with logic, but you're still wrong either way. <laughs> I, I stand redacted. <laughs> I don't, I don't know what that means, except for you got a big black mark on your face, but <laughs> cool. What? I don't know. Redacted? Doesn't that usually mean they put a big black mark across your face? All right. Moving on. Um, <laughs> oh, oh, your jokes don't land, and it's nothing but mine. Moving on. <laughs> moving on. <laughs> moving on. <laughs> okay, Winnie. <laughs> <laughs> You know what? I want to get. I want to. Is there a timeline? I want to get to the bottom of this. A timeline? Do you have like, a problem with me? I, because I have a, pro a problem with you. Yeah. That happened at three o'clock. What, <laughs> what difference does that make? He was having a bad day, and the issue with the chips just sent him over the edge. There's nothing wrong with that. It's. <laughs> you are a douche. The worst part is that you actually believe your dumb bullshit. <laughs> you think you can just assault people because you're having a bad day? <laughs> well, no, if they assault. If they assault, assault your, your chips, yes. <laughs> have, have, have you ever gotten home and go to eat your chips and all you have is a bunch of little bitty pieces? So that then your sucks. fingers get all fucking dippy. Yeah, that sucks. Right. That and if somebody does that party. to you intentionally, you have How the right you know? to punch them, grab them by the fucking throat. <laughs> oh, man. So the law says you can assault somebody. If they were crushing your chips, <laughs> that's written into the law. No. If they assault you or fear for your property being damaged. Fear, fear for your property. Section three. <laughs> Officer, I was scared he was going to crush my chips. <laughs> no, he already did crush the chips. That's the fucking problem. And you What's were scared? So just admit that you were scared. I that's was scared. I, I, I hate getting dippy hands. <laughs> dippy hands. <laughs> You, you ever, you ever been sitting at a Mexican restaurant 
and you go to dip your chips in the beaner dip and you find out that, isn't that what you call it? <laughs> yeah. How are you going to throw that back on me? <laughs> How the fuck's that work? You, you can't throw something like out that, that out there and say, isn't that what you call it? That's, I, I thought our I heard that from you. Our listeners are too smart for that. Yeah. As they're sitting there rubbing <laughs> shit all over them. <laughs> We we can say and do whatever I want, whatever we want, and they're just rubbing feces all over their fucking face like savages. <laughs> you know the old the old gag where you you take some shit and put it in a paper bag, light it on fire, and put it on somebody's porch or whatever. Uh huh. Our listeners look at that as like, oh, somebody brought us a present. <laughs> <laughs> Don't step on it. Oh my god! Don't waste the good stuff. But we're not making fun of you, poop man. Um, I'm not for sure. I, I get it, man. Do you? So you do? I that. do. I get it. What do you think sparked it? What do you think caused that to to be a thing? Oh fuck! I don't know. What? Fuck, how the fuck? I'm not a fucking psychologist, psychiatrist, psych. I'm not that guy. I don't know. <laughs> I can't even make a. I can't even make a guess at that. Something traumatic in his childhood. But we're not making fun of you. <laughs> or judgy. We're not judging you. Ju- or judging you. Just keep listening. And if what, – what I want is for you to tell your family. Sit them down and, and tell them. Just get them all in a room together, maybe the bathroom, and tell them. <laughs> so I really don't believe that it would go badly. I, I know it wouldn't in my house. If, if, my, if my son was to sit down and say, Dad, I've got to tell you something. I'm turned on by poo. poo. All right. Well, just like put down a, sh- a fucking plastic sheet or something in here. Don't get it on the walls. I don't know what to tell you. If you're happy and, if you're happy and nobody's getting hurt, I'm all for whatever it is that you're doing. Hmm. All right. So what if he told you he liked shit, but he was gay too? Nah, I couldn't have that. <laughs> <laughs> I can't have that. Yeah, so, Dad, I, I want you to know something. I enjoy poop. Are we talking about men's poop or women's poop? Because this is important. <laughs> I don't want you into any of that gay shit. <laughs> I see what you did there. Right. I, I, wouldn't, give, I wouldn't give a fuck. Either way, I don't care. If no, really, though, I, I do... I, I feel bad for, for people that are, I don't, I don't know if the word is repressed or whatever, because there has to be some kind of society norm, right? I mean, shit eating has to be looked at as a bad thing, right? Because if you just eat a bunch of shit, you, you die from diseases. So we have to look at it as bad, but fuck, I'm, I'm conflicted. I don't know. Don't eat shit. <laughs> <laughs> Shit's going to make you sick, man. I don't know that he ever said he eats it. Yeah, that's true, I guess. I mean, that's the logical next step. Yeah. You get some But there's there's a huge difference. Your finger, you get some on your finger when you're wiping. Next thing, <laughs> I'm eating this. <laughs> I'm eating this. So Fuck, I don't I don't I mean, I get it, I guess. I, fuck, I don't know. I'm just confused about the whole thing. Cuz I'm confused mainly because like uh not only is it not turn me on, it fucking disgusts me. It grosses me out. So I can't really say that I understand because I, but what I, you, what whatever you the opposite of understand is I'm that. <laughs> what, what you can understand though, is there's, there's got to be something that you are into and that doesn't even mean that you've done it or will do it, but something that turns you on just the thought of it mm-hmm. that you won't tell anybody because you're worried about what they'll think. Oh, for sure. hundred percent. Right. So that's what he, that's what he feels. Yeah. But so I think that that is why pornography is important, right? Because it allows people to indulge in things that they otherwise couldn't indulge in. And then they would be, I don't know, mad, sad, glad, whatever the fucking word is, <laughs> whatever feeling you get when you can't indulge in what you want to indulge in. <laughs> All right. If there was better, better. <laughs> so I, I disagree with you. All right. I think if there was no porn altogether, uh-huh. there would be a lot less people that were into poop. Uh, no, God, yes. no. Yes. Oh, why? 
because they'd never experienced it before. I get right. Is what you're saying? Yeah. It, 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 it's just not a thing. It's not something you run into in your, your fucking daily life. Whereas you go on the internet and fuck, you can't avoid it. <laughs> <laughs> you can't. I, I don't think that's true. Who are you hanging out with? <laughs> I've, I've done a pretty good job of avoiding it. I don't think that's true at all because so, all right. So you're telling me if there was no porn, you wouldn't like getting your cock sucked. That's different. But how? Because the odds of me getting my cock sucked are much, much higher than the odds of somebody smearing shit on themselves and me watching it. <laughs> really? <laughs> Touche. <laughs> so there never any porn ever. And, and so then how would the first person know hmm, if I put my dick in this girl's mouth, it's going to be great. Like not very many people would have done that in the first place. Right. Maybe one fucking sick bastard would have done that and nobody would have ever known about it. Cause it would have been like taboo, but no, you're wrong. How, how? You're how am I wrong? You're telling me there was no oral sex before porn. Of course there was. People just didn't talk about it or see it or know about it or think about it, but they still did it. And so you're telling me that nobody yes. ever liked shit before there was porn? Suck that caveman cock. <laughs> God, caveman cock must have stunk. <laughs> <laughs> Smells like dinosaur poop. Have you been playing in the poop again? <laughs> yes, I realized that they weren't on the earth at the same time. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> oh, and I also think? know that there were, there were writings on cave walls of cave women sucking caveman cave cock cave cock <laughs> i think that should be the name of the episode cave cock so do you think do you think that the animals or the people on the board of the uh on noah's ark fucked each other the animals they fucked the animals what I don't, I don't know why i don't know why i don't know why my mind just went there but that's just that's what I was thinking of caveman and then Noah's Ark and I'm trying to make the connection in my own mind, but it's not working. How, how much you, do you know of that story? Two of all the animals and a boat. That's it. What about people though? That's because I, I, I knew that same Noah. thing. So you're asking if Noah fucked every fuck the animals, not if people on the boat did was, was there Noah and his wife and his kid? Or was there more people or did they take two of every race? I don't fucking know. <laughs> they took two of every gender. They took two of every gender. They had to take 12 boats. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, it was easier to round up the dragonflies than... <laughs> hmm. <clears throat> All right. So, this whole, is this whole episode going to be about poop? No, we're going to the next thing. All right. Wait, I thought we were just talking about somebody getting choked. <laughs> How'd we end up back up poop again? <laughs> I don't I don't know. It's just so interesting we can't stop talking about it. All right, let's do this one here. Free speech and rap music. All right. I love rap music. Ocala. I think that's Florida, right? Is it? Uh, or is it California? Yes, it is Florida. Do you know that to be true? Yes. Because a little bit down, it says something about Florida, Jacksonville, Florida. So that's got to be near Alcala, right? <laughs> Stay tuned next week where we find out places in Oregon. Two plus two really is four. Local Alcala musician, Christopher John John, John John McCollum, 27, arrested for allegedly threatening to shoot up a school in a social media still video. Isn't that a Wait. picture? Wait. Yeah, still video. <laughs> The video contained music and charged lyrics from his song. Charged, Jun Jun. charged with charged, charged with what? Jun Jun faces or Jun Jun, I don't know, Jun Jun faces a five a fifty thousand bond after he was arrested for allegedly posting social media threats about a rival gang from Gainesville on Facebook. These threats contain was that what you were talking about? Gainesville and not Jacksonville? Holy no, I, shit, I can't read. Nope, Jacksonville down here. Woo. These okay. threats contained the line that was highlighted by the authorities, catch you at a Gator game and shoot the whole campus up, suggesting that he and others would go to a University of Florida Gators game to commit a shooting. This was considered a major concern for local authorities due to gang violence in the area. They suspect that a next major event where another rapper, Kianta Youngin, 
Is this even fucking words? <laughs> is this even words? <laughs> we'll be there. We'll, we'll, a major conflict may be held between these rival gangs as there has been a conflict before. This, this is so fucking gay. <laughs> the specific right. bar, viewer discretion, viewer discretion is advised, contains strong lyrics. <laughs> it was some whole shit, but since you want to amp it up, catch you at a gator game and shoot the whole campus up. He ain't a shooter. He don't even know if his gun works. Don't let me catch you at a young Ian Ace concert. Oh, that guy got to go to jail right now. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> is, this, is this the song? Is it? Is do you hear anything? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> I love this song. Catch you at a Gator game. Shoot the whole campus up. <laughs> something, something, something. <laughs> something, something, something. <laughs> is is it playing? I don't I don't know what the fuck's happening here. No, it's not. It's counting down like it's playing. <laughs> Did you forget to share your audio? <laughs> June June. Oh, wait, hold on. The shit that make me happy hurt that nigga Ross snitching on his sister baby daddy. The last nigga that tried me, he went missing. Don't that nigga smoke fuck with a pump from Tent City? Them niggas pussy. They just want to play crazy. Only real nigga from Gainesville was Shea Baby. You <laughs> that guy sucks ass. <laughs> <laughs> Could you hear that? Yes. That, that wasn't good rap. No. <laughs> he needs to go to jail. Hold I changed on. my mind. <laughs> <laughs> hold on. I, something popped into my head when I was listening to this, so I'm gonna I'm gonna play this. Well, hold on. You niggas stay hating. You better take lessons. Catch your puss ass coming out of eight seconds. There was some whole shit, but since you wanna amp it up, catch you at a Gator game and shoot the whole campus up. Make that nigga disappear. Like where did he go? Y'all really wanna beef by the area code? You know we better nigga. And we like, like, where did he go? <laughs> That's the stupidest thing I ever. Heard. Like where did he go? <laughs> Oh, rut row. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Have you ever listened to the public rap public access rap battle, Eli? No. All right. That that's what this guy reminded me of. I'm gonna see if I can jump to this. This is this is bad. again, your boy Marvo, and I'm back with round two of the Iron Mike Freestyle Battle. We have two new contestants, South Mariah and your boy Eli from the class of 2005. We also have the bus, well, I'm Jonathan Hodges, trying to jump Jay to Doug, Eli Jeremy here, Walker, which is what it reminded me of. Steve Jackson, Action Jackson. Over, over at the judges' table. Y'all already know the rules, so when. Yeah, I got one question, man. Tell me who next. This nigga salt like a nigga who just getting the best. See, I'm the best, man. I did it. That was it. <laughs> uh, all right. That was a lot of buildup. Hold on. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. See, I'ma let you know who the best by the hour. It's like Rosie O'Donnell at a bisexual bridal shower. It ain't nothing to me, man. I keep it for real. Look at this dental man with dental the grill. See, I'm the best. I told you that. This dude like that, he ran in front of the cat. Now I messed up, but I'ma stay on top. They told me, man, but you know, I'm never gonna flop. Look at this dude, he need to stay in the shade. Ain't no wonder why he came out. He already in the gay parade. I told you, man, I got you. Roasted like ever. You don't know what my rhymes, they straight up clever. So you step down off the pedestal. I'm the best, man. You need to go to the fucking dento. To the fucking dento. To the fucking, to the fucking, to the fucking dento. <laughs> to, to the dental? <laughs> What the fuck does that mean? So what what uh, what makes this so funny is I I believe this guy to be mentally retarded. Um, <laughs> what makes this funny is because he's a retard. <laughs> that's that's great. Oh, so you're gonna act like what well, is not funnier because he's retarded? 
<laughs> no, it's not. All right. So here's what I want. Here's what I want you to do. <laughs> All right. Just for the sake of this conversation, because you're 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 on this thing now where you're always trying to come off as if you're a good person, and right. I don't I don't I, I, don't, I don't understand why I don't understand right. why you you've got to keep trying to pretend to be like shit's not funny because of this or that. But what I want you to do is uh -huh. I'm going to send you the link to the video. Uh huh. And then I just want you to jump to three minutes and 20 seconds. All right. And then I'm going to judge you watch if you're truly watching it by it. If any sounds come out of your mouth. All right. <coughs> Cause, we, Cause we won't be able to hear it. Three minutes and 20 seconds. Yep. Two, four, three minutes and 12 seconds. That's close enough, right? Oh, my God. <laughs> no. <laughs> That's horrible. Yeah, you're a better person, all right. <laughs> <laughs> wow, he's even doing the whole retard hand thing. <laughs> all right. What? Uh. So it, wow. look for the in the show notes on however you're listening to this podcast. I'll put a link in there to this video that we watched. Um, and then you can stop judging me for making light of this kid's condition. I think <laughs> no, you seven. can't. <laughs> so, so, so that was like a Special Olympics rap battle. That's, that's what it looked like. Oh, man. Now, you, you're trying to tell me that if that fucking kid smashed your chips, you wouldn't grab him by the throat. <laughs> No, I'd feel bad for him. <laughs> you know right. that they're pay you know they're paying him like three dollars an hour because they can get away with it. <laughs> it's, you know what? Just take your smash chips and go home. This All guy's right, so, got worse so, life than you. <laughs> you. You just heard the public access kid. Now I'm a the nigga Airbrit from Gainesville. Fuck with old Keller nigga. Y'all ain't killing shit. Check the murder rate. When the last time one of your dogs called a murder case? I got a bit from. It, it's not a whole lot different. Sound quality is a little better, but the rap style is the same. <laughs> yep. Unless he lives close to me. <laughs> <laughs> or, or if he listens. <laughs> Unless he listens to the show. Then your rap is awesome, June June. <laughs> <laughs> we are big Ooh, fans. Where'd he go? <laughs> <laughs> part. We are big fans of June June. <laughs> where would Gainesville, I won't say a name. One second here. I, I don't know how the fuck this thing works. She said she don't fuck with y'all. Y'all niggas lame. He's I, I wanted to hear that again, but <laughs> I do too. That was my favorite rap lyric of all time. Where'd he go? <laughs> I, I don't know why that's so funny. It's so fucking stupid. Lessons, catch your puss ass coming out of eight seconds. There was some whole shit, but since you want to amp it up, catch you at a gator game and shoot the whole campus up. Made that nigga disappear like, where did he go? Y'all really want to beef by the area code? You know we better, nigga, and we can't. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why that's so fucking funny. Where, where did he go? So made that nigga disappear. Like, where did he go? Y'all really want to? All right. <laughs> where did he go? <laughs> oh man, that's good. <laughs> that's clever. <laughs> like he disappeared. Where did he go? <laughs> Fuck, man, I don't know. That guy's got a. A long rap career ahead of him. <laughs> yeah, we should write that down. But <laughs> hey, have, have you seen June June? No, nah, he disappeared, man. I don't know where did he go. Oh <laughs> shit, that's a lyric. <laughs> so I, I I think I'm with you. I don't think that he should have been arrested for that's that's not a fucking gun threat. It's not anything. It, it would. It, He's a shitty rapper, and he and he put together a shitty string of. <laughs> so that's basically you could take that that whole lyric. He disappeared. Where did he go? Well, oh, this guy must have kidnapped him. That's what he's saying. <laughs> that's I mean that's that's what it comes down to. You, you arrest the guy for fucking a shitty rap. And, and realistically, right? So you have to look at a at a at a lyric and say, does this seem like a an honest to goodness threat? Okay. So if I catch you at a football game, I am going to leave that game and then go back to campus and shoot everybody. That don't even make fucking sense. That's how bad of a rapper he is. <laughs> he's, he's 
twice as bad at being a terrorist as he is a rapper. <laughs> He's no snow, I'll tell you that. <sighs> All right, moving on. I want to do this. I'm moving. I'm moving this around here. All right, I don't give a shit. What are we doing? Race time. <laughs> Race time. <laughs> All right. I, there's going to be a lot of that. I apologize in advance. <laughs> Gender studies professor says white people own time. If time had a race, it would be white. Here's why that sentence don't make any sense. Uh, let's start with gender studies. No, no. <laughs> Listen to the logic that, that this dumb cunt said. Here's, here's how it should have read if it wanted to be accurate and a stinger. <laughs> <laughs> now listen carefully I'm, I'm only changing one word and you'll understand now how it makes sense gender studies professor says white people own time if time had a race it would be black why, why is that better I don't understand not better Ac <laughs> oh I see what you did there <laughs> that took a second that one, that one almost went over my head <laughs> A gender studies professor discussed the rapal rapal. Wait, wait, <laughs> was a Freudian slip. Uh, rapal? Were you going to say rapal implication? Yeah. <laughs> the ra rapial implications. The racial implications of time during. <sighs> I'm moving on. <laughs> it's stupid. It's like this isn't even real. All right, I'm going to try to report this as if it's an, not fucking stupid. A gender studies professor discussed the racial implications of time during an NPR interview last week, arguing that if time had a race, it would be white and that white people own time. Speaking to host Guy Raz for the... <laughs> That's his name, sure. The TED Radio Hour episode confronting racism, Brittany Cooper, associated professor... <coughs> of women's and gender studies and Africana studies at Rus Rutgers expounded on her theory regarding the racial politics of time. Cooper's conversation. I don't care. <laughs> I personally am a stickler for time. It's almost as if my mother, when I was growing up said, we will not be those black people. So we typically arrived at events 30 minutes early. Cooper said before declaring if time had a race, it would be white. Oh, that makes sense then. <laughs> what? What the <laughs> is she even saying we were always early so time is racist what, what the fuck are you saying uh raz asked cooper about her 2017 comments in which she said that although we treat time as though it is timeless it is actually bound up with the plunder of indig indigenous lands the genocide of indigenous people and the stealing of africans from their homeland oh <laughs> oh now i understand she's an idiot <laughs> I, I haven't, maybe we're missing the part where she explains what the fuck it is that she's talking about. But when, when white male European philosophers first thought to conceptualize, conceptualize time and history, one famously deca declared, Africa is no historical part of the world. He was essentially saying that Africans were people outside of history who had no impact on time or the march of progress. What so, the what, so, uh... Okay. When a person, usually a white person, according to Cooper, accuses black people of being stuck in the past, they are evidencing the racial foundations of time. I don't think she knows how time works. <laughs> it's, isn't time just something that happens? It's not like white people invented it. <coughs> I mean, it was there, right? If you, no. If you weren't so racist, you would understand. But if you are African-American in this country, time doesn't exactly work that way. You are, you know living often with the residue of past historical trauma. You are living in a present day system that is filled with racial animus, which often is overlooked by many white Americans. What does that have to do with time? <laughs> what? I don't, I'm, I'm still waiting for the argument here. I, I, what, what's the argument against time? I don't get it. According to Cooper, in order to live up to America's stated creed of liberty and equality and justice, white Americans might have to suffer some personal discomfort. The contentious racial climate has led some critics to argue an identity politics mindset is negatively affecting conversations about what the f 
there was nothing in here about time. Like, uh, I don't understand. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Can we just say she's right? <clears throat> yeah. According to Cooper, in order to live up to America's stated creed of liberty and equality and justice, white Americans might have to suffer. I, what? <laughs> what the, the fuck does that have to do with time? <laughs> It's just another way to say that white people are bad. Oh, wait a minute. This, this should explain it. At one point during the interview, Cooper mused that exposing these operations of time should allow us to think about is that we don't all have the same timescapes. She claimed that in contrast to blacks, whites are taught that time is linear. For black people, time isn't that simple. All right. What? What? what did, Doug, did your parents teach you that time is linear? Yes. Mine did too. Did they teach you that because you're white? <laughs> yes. Well, you're white, so time is linear. Not like them blacks whose time is not linear. What the fuck does that even mean? They're, well, black people's time runs in parallel. In parallel to what? <laughs> you wouldn't know. You're not black. <laughs> you're right. I don't know. <laughs> I'm so fucking confused. <laughs> <laughs> we don't all have the tam- same timescapes, Anthony. I don't understand what... It, that, that's you living in your privileged, privileged linear timescape. <laughs> You're right. I need some personal discomfort to make everything better for black people. <laughs> Go stub your toe. Come back and record after that. <laughs> All right. Progress for blacks. I stubbed my toe. <laughs> in the future. I did it in the future. <laughs> <laughs> Somewhere on the time scale, I did it. I don't know. I think that we need to come up with something to refute this either refute it or support I, it i don't know which direction how? i want to go I, how <laughs> yes that's all I, can. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even i don't understand it enough to refute it or support it and i think that's the point i don't think she wants people to understand <laughs> uh, so have you ever hmm. the first thing is gender studies so what, what does that even mean <laughs> You look at peepees all day. <laughs> you look at peepees all day. I'm in. I didn't realize that that's what it was. <laughs> Do you get to see boobies too? <laughs> I mean, I'm all about gender studies. Do they just have vaginal studies? Because I want, I want to do that. <laughs> I want to major in vaginal studies. <laughs> what, 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 what is that called? A gender biology? No, gender, gender, gender study? studies. Yeah. Professor. Yeah, gender studies professor and then something about Africa, too. <laughs> I don't remember what it said now. I major in gender studies and minor in Africana. <laughs> gender studies and Africana studies. All right, here we go. Gender studies is a field for interdisciplinary study devoted to gender identity and gendered representation as central categories of analysis. This field includes women's studies concerning women, feminism, gender, and politics, men's study, and queer studies. Sometimes gender studies is offered together with a study of sexuality. These disciplines study gender and sexuality in the fields of literature, language, geography, history, political science. So they, they look at fags in history. <laughs> look at fags in history. It also analyzes. <laughs> this is. It's not real. It doesn't even seem real, does it? I mean. This, when, did, like, when did this happen? When did they decide that they could? What do you do with this degree? You go and study this. What do you do with it? Like, what do you do with it? What do you, what do, you do with it? That's, that's why you need $15 at McDonald's. <laughs> I think I'm moving to your side here. <laughs> <laughs> Gender study yeah. under the lens of each of these theory, theorists looks somewhat different. In a Freudian system, women are mutilated and must learn to accept their lack of a penis. What? No, I agree with that. (laughs) No, I agree with that. The concept of sexualization, which postits the development of gender. It's just a bunch of words that are thrown together that make no fucking sense. (laughs) This isn't real. This is somebody hacked Wikipedia. And (laughs) What can you do with a WGS major women's? What can you do with a gender and sexuality studies degree? Uh, Let's see. Oh, come on. My internet's slow. We have students going into public health, international policy, journalism, politics, filmmaking, education, careers that allow them to affect change. Nothing. nothing. So you can't go get a job. (laughs) 
Right. No, I mean, wow. There's li- so holy li- shit. Other than okay, so literature. That means you can become a writer, you know, for a shitty fucking website that pushes this garbage. Right. Uh, education, journalism, which would be a liberal college. Right. Filmmaking. Law. Community development. You know, I really want to put a park over here. Can you go out and find somebody that has studied genitalia <laughs> and homos in history? <laughs> homos in history. Uh, LGBT <laughs> degree. I want an LGBT degree. <laughs> That's awesome. <sighs> Lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgender studies. Wow, there is an actual... There's an actual program at Berkeley, Lesbian, Gay, Bisexual, and Transgender Studies. The Department of Gender and Women's Studies offers an innovative, interdisciplinary, undergraduate, minor program in Lesbian, Gay, Bisexual, and Transgender Studies. Wow. Isn't Berkeley, I I guess I always thought Berkeley was like one of them, like liberal, like not a real... (laughs) <laughs> not, a, not a real college. Like a University of Phoenix type thing. <laughs> so a long, a long time ago, Berkeley had uh, protests for free speech. They were they were like one of the first or one of the biggest colleges to have free speech protests because the government was trying to stifle free speech. Mm-hmm. Now Berkeley is one of the colleges that's trying to eliminate free speech. Oh, so good. So they fucking it's fucking weird, man. That's good that everybody can do a complete one eighty. Right. Wait, no. 360? 220. Okay. Did you see this? Uh, masters and PhD programs in women's gender and sexuality studies? No. The, the Texas Women's University offers a multicultural women's and gender studies major for PhD program. This is fucking weird. So you can call yourself a doctor just by studying like... Huh, she's got a vagina. So does he. Huh, I'm a doctor. <laughs> That's fucking weird, man. <laughs> yeah, and and we spend our time talking about how poop boy likes poop, but this is way more weird. <laughs> it seems like that would be a waste of money. <laughs> yeah. If uh if your kid wanted to go to college for gender studies, would you be like, "Cool," and then go get him a loan for $100,000? Um, I would support his or her decision to study gender. Yes. Not financially, just emotionally. (laughs) (laughs) Cool. (laughs) No, I, I I think that it's important. So I I think there's too much importance put on college degrees. Um, you know, they, they prep you in high school that you are not going to do anything ever without a college degree and then people go and, and get $80,000 in debt, getting a fucking degree in gender studies. And then they get out to the real world and there's no, there's no fucking job. I, so what do you, what do you suspect throughout the country? There's probably 20 jobs a year that come open that this would help with, whether it be like uh, some fucking stupid magazine that's looking for a writer for this bullshit or. Yeah. I mean, there's, there's, there's not a huge oh, demand for doctors of dick studies or whatever the fuck these people do. So, and that's the thing is that how do they expect to pay that money? I don't, I don't care. People want to study what they study. I, I don't give a fuck. Learn about what you want to learn about. That's totally fine. But then what they want is free college to study gender studies. Yeah. So I, I would suggest, I would suggest but, that if you're going to get a major in gender studies, you get a minor in diesel engine repair. <laughs> It should, it should go hand in hand. <laughs> That's a pretty good idea. All right. I sent, I sent you something in the chat. You know, it wouldn't hurt you to learn how to repair a lawnmower. <laughs> You're going to need I mean, some cash along the way. Yeah, You can study about vaginas all you want, but you need to fix this fucking thing. <laughs> all right. Morehouse College to admit transgender men starting in 2020. I'm good for that. The country's only... All male historically black college will begin admitting transgender men next year, marking a shift for the school at the time when higher education institutions around the nation are adopting more welcome policies towards LGBT students. Transgender men will be allowed to enroll in the school for the first time in 2020. Students who identify as women but were born male cannot enroll. 
Wait a minute. <laughs> what? what? How students who identify as a woman but were born male cannot enroll. However, and anyone who transitions from male to female will not be automatically eligible to receive a degree from the institution. More house. <laughs> I think this is so fucking retarded. <laughs> The policy also states that Morehouse will continue to use masculine pronouns, which it calls the language of brotherhood. Hmm. <laughs> I'm confused. I, I'm, I'm confused at what fucking world we're living in. <laughs> so is, it sounds like nobody is allowed to go to this college. Did I hear that right? <laughs> right. <laughs> right. At any uh, point, have you had a dick attached to your body <laughs> you're out or or do you identify as having a dick attached to your body <laughs> you uh, I, <laughs> hold on all right the college fails at addressing and understanding the gender journey that one undergoes during their college experience spiritual spiritually emotionally physically and psychologically the gender journey <laughs> <laughs> you ever been on that <laughs> I heard that's a good ride at Disneyland. <laughs> the gender <laughs> journey. College kids are so fucking retarded. <laughs> in, in 2009, the college updated its dress code in part to address a handful of students who were wearing women's clothing on campus. <laughs> the following year, Morehouse held its first gay pride. Morehouse offered its first LGBT course in 2013 and has a scholars program named for civil and gay rights icon, Baynard Rustin. I don't. I, hmm. <laughs> What's the news story? It, oh, it, all it is is the people that can't get in. <laughs> What's the news story here? What, what are masculine pronouns? Is that like Mr.? No, oh, he, 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 his, 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 him. Feminine pronouns are hers, 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 his, her, her. <laughs> <laughs> I think I had a stroke. <laughs> her, her, hers, 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 hers. <laughs> I don't know if I can know. He, his, his, his. Fuck, dude, I don't fucking know. <sighs> <clears throat> I don't, uh, I, I don't get it. I, I, what I think is happening is that because of the internet, college kids and high school kids can just say the stupidest fucking things and nobody realizes that maybe they're college kids or, or, or high school kids. So they're like, well, I guess this is what America thinks now. Okay, college kids and high school kids have always been fucking stupid. They say stupid, stupid things because they're young. Now everybody just takes them serious when they say stupid shit. <laughs> It used to be when you were a kid, grown-ups told you to shut the fuck up because you don't know what you're talking about. Still there? Yeah. I, there. Are you done? Yeah, I'm done. <laughs> Am I wrong, though? No. Not, not wrong at all. It's... it's... <sighs> Moving on. Don't, don't, you, don't you think I, that I if... I don't care anymore. Don't, don't you <laughs> think if an, an adult said... No, that's no, you're stupid. No, we're not going to No, You go talk about that with your other fucking 15 year old friends. You let the adults handle the adult stuff. Stupid. <laughs> Don't you think everything would just be better? <laughs> that's how people get fucking their chips broke. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> that's how people get their chips broke. <laughs> yeah. You start telling, you start telling the, the homo gays that they're wrong. <laughs> They break your chips and then you grab them by the throat and you get arrested. Not, not the homo gays, the fucking 15 year old homo gays with stupid ideas. When you're an adult, then you can have an adult conversation. When you're fucking 15, you don't get to be part of the conversation with people whose minds are more developed than yours. You <laughs> fucking idiot. All right. So I think I have a solution. I, I believe this would be the final solution. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm listening. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So what, here's what we do. If you walk up to somebody and you say, what do you identify as? Uh-huh. You, all right. The person that asked that question gets put in the gas chamber. <laughs> <laughs> but, 
Okay. <laughs> I, I, you're not going to get an argument from me. So here, here's what I think. I think the longer that we pander, is that right? Pander. Right. That is exactly right. We pander to teenagers. Mm-hmm. The, the more likely they are to think that their opinion is relevant. Valid. Right. Okay. So it's no different than the, the school shooting survivors. It's the same thing. So uh, you, you take somebody who attended school at the, at the same school where there was a school shooting. Uh-huh. He wasn't there that day, but he attends that school. Yeah. He's now a survivor. And now he gets to go around and make public speaking arrangements or engagements uh-huh. or yep. whatever about gun control. Right. And people take him seriously. Right. Because he lost some people, some friends, or at least acquaintances, classmates. Uh, right. Uh, because of other classmates, right? Right. I mean, it, the, the people in Vegas – when that whole shooting, yeah, we don't listen to their opinion about shitty music. <laughs> You're right. We know that they have a particular interest in shitty music. <laughs> yep. I wonder if that's why they were killed. That guy really hated country music. <laughs> he really, really hated it. He wasn't planning on shooting anybody, but they just wouldn't shut the fucking music off. I think he was just aiming for the people on stage, and he was just really <laughs> shitty. Yep. I'm just trying to sleep. I lost 40 <laughs> bucks at the blackjack table. I lost table. 40 bucks. <laughs> shut the fuck uh, up about your pickup truck, you cocksucker. <laughs> oh, my God. I have... Uh, so I, I've been spending a lot of time, as I've said before, on, on Reddit now, especially yeah. going into conspiracy theories. Uh-huh. Me too. Um, and, and I am convinced that the majority of people on Reddit are smarter than I am. And that's only because they can formulate their thoughts in a way that makes me think that they are right. Have you ever looked into WikiLinks at all? I it is that like uh Wait, WikiLeaks? I'm sorry. Is, it, <laughs> WikiLeaks? Like, is that just links on Wikipedia? Yeah, yeah. I'm, yeah. Wiki WikiLeaks, my bad. Uh I've heard about it. Somebody posted a link to Ooh. the the latest WikiLeaks dump and I probably sat there for 3 hours just scrolling. It was it's it's fucking phenomenal and it's any topic you can think of just documents relating to I mean it's fucking insane you could literally lose your mind with that shit and i think a lot of people do every that's why you see everything as a conspiracy when you when you read into all that kind of bullshit you know it's crazy i don't even remember what we were talking about i don't either <laughs> I, don't, I don't uh anyway so morehouse college is gonna let transgender men in <laughs> so that's pretty right. cool oh uh, are we oh, doing the story? Are we done hour and 20 minutes? <clears throat> All right. Yeah. So the one thing I wanted to talk about was reparations and we didn't even fucking get to it. All right. Let's talk about it. No, we're already an hour and 20 minutes and we'll do it. Uh, we'll do reparations on our Patreon. So, okay. Reparations go. All right, everybody. Uh, thank you very much for, like I said, the patrons. Uh, I, w- I want to thank all the new patrons that are going to sign up after this episode so they can listen to us argue about reparations. Hmm. Um, don't forget, call voicemail 508-974-4489. Check us out over on NSFL. We need to change that fucking name. Sounds like a fucking fag football team. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Bye. Oh, wait a minute. No. Still here. Are you here? <laughs> Still here. All right. Yeah, we had this thing to play. Remember? Oh, are we, are we playing that? I'm playing it right now. All right. How long is it? Because I got to go get something to drink. <laughs> I'm going to. It doesn't matter. Just go get something to drink. All right. 12 hours before my first grown-up job interview, I was sent a drug test permission form, which stated it was to be done on company's grounds. Considering I smoke weed daily, I started looking up ways to pass a drug test. I came to the conclusion that I was going to need some clean pee, a small container, and a way to keep it body temperature. I had clean pee and an off-brand five-hour energy bottle. 
They're just a tad bit wider, but needed temperature strips to monitor the temperature. Unfortunately, I was unable to obtain any temperature strips in the time I had to prepare, but knowing that I wouldn't be able to pass the temperature wasn't if the temperature wasn't correct, I had an idea to stick it up my vagina. I tested it the night before and tied a string to it so I could pull it out with ease and everything worked great. Fast forward to the interview. It was an hour and a half away so I decided to wait till I got there to insert it. I did it in my car with some coconut oil before I walked in just in case they decide to drug test me first. I walked in and everything was fine. I signed it and they told me to take a seat. As soon as I sat down I knew something was wrong. I went to the bathroom to make to make sure I could still take it out. I began pulling the strings, but the bottle didn't move. I tugged again. The s string broke. At this point, I'm freaking out. I try to get it out with my fingers, but I can't reach it. The only tools I have on me are a mechanical pencil and a pen. So in a three-piece suit and heels, I squat and begin to use these tools to try and remove the bottle. About four minutes go by and I'm really freaking out, but need to go back in case they call my name. I walk out and the HR rep sees me and asks if I'm okay. I tell her, I have a tampon stuck on my vagina that I can't get out and that's why I'm freaking out. She then takes me to the nurse and tells me that she can remove it for me. Not wanting to, the target nurse to pull the bottle of pee out of me, I ask her if I can just try again myself. She says sure and hands me tweezers. Obviously, that didn't work. So then she gives me these scissors with a hook on the end and, some, and a disinfectant wipe. Still didn't work. At this point, I just have to do the interview. It lasted three hours and I had to take a tour of a 900,000 square foot distribution center. When the interview finally ends, I rush to the closest urgent care where I have to explain to the doctor why there's a five hour energy in my vagina. At this point, I'm convinced I just don't have the right tools and they'll get it out in no time. Upon looking, the doctor informs me that not only is it lodged behind my pelvic bone, but that it's always also sideways. Her first idea is to drill a hole in the bottle in my vagina and then fish it out. Luckily, they just send me to the ER instead. So now I'm in the ER where they inform me that since it's behind my pelvic bone, getting it out would mean essentially birthing a five-hour energy bottle. But since I wasn't actually giving birth, my body wasn't dilated and they couldn't remove the bottle without putting me under. Well, after eight hours of having a five-hour energy bottle lodged in my person, it was finally removed. I didn't get the job and didn't even get drug tested. <sighs> Tried to pass a drug test by sticking a five hour energy bottle filled with clean pee in my vagina. After eight hours, an urgent care visit and a trip to the ER, it was finally removed. Edit, this isn't made up. I don't know if I have all the anatomy right, I guess.